Morning. Let's do this. We are on our work. We are. We are on our way to Tex World outside of Paris, which is a textile expo. Where are we going next? For clothing and garments and that stuff. And a friend of us recommended to go and check it out. So we started our clothing brand in a rather unconventional way. We just kind of made it up as we went along. So there's not much we know about the proper traditional way of making clothing and being in this fashion world. <laughs> so today we're going to check out this expo in the hopes to learn something new about how to make clothing, widen our horizons and uh, learn about some fabrics and hopefully find some cool ones to use for our own collections. To be expected. We just walked in the door without showing passes or, or anything. And um, it seems like it hasn't really started yet. It's people are still setting up. And uh, I think we accidentally walked into the exhibitor's entry. But we have a meeting with Christina set up who's been helping us with her shoe. We met her in Copenhagen before and in Bangkok. And uh, we're gonna meet her to have a meeting about the shoe. And then she's gonna intro us a little bit on, because she's been here before. She's more of an expert. She's gonna explain to us where's what and give us a little rundown so we can again, go and explore ourselves. This looks really fun already though. There's a bunch of different stores. All the stores have their garments for show, what they make, and it always has the, the country they're from. So it's pretty interesting. I'm excited. online I'll look up different examples I'll look at different shoes and then I'll send it to somebody and say can we find something like this and then they'll say yeah and then but it's to here you can look at it you can touch it and that's maybe it looks good but it doesn't it doesn't feel right and yeah this one's perfect look <laughs> cool there's so, there's so many different ways to do it have like a printed out big version of your old tech pack would you? No. no. Okay. And, and this one? Yeah. Yes. Is it with Lurex? Yes. Yeah. No, no, it's polyester. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 This one, yeah. So I also have a sample of this cutting. Yeah. For elastic, right? Yes. We are on a 60% spandex. Mm -hmm. And you have your weight and then your, your the width of it, which Got is the it. cuttable width. The cuttable width, how, how wide? How wide it is and how we can cut it to. Christina shared a little bit of her experience with us. She's from Trendsetters Fashion. What they do is you can basically come to them as a brand and say, hey, this is the product we want to make or this is the idea we want to have. Can you help us with it? They'll take you through the process with their experience. And we've been fortunate enough that Christina has shared a lot over the last weeks working with her and even longer and your, your brother even longer before that they've really always helped Farang when we came to them and said this is an idea we have how do we make it happen um, 
and they're here today with Shanghai Plus Textiles, which are their friends, and together they're running this booth. So they're showing off their cuts, they're showing off their fabrics, and we just collected some fabrics of ourselves from different booths. And now I'm gonna grab a sample, a swatch, is what they call it, from one of their fabrics, because this is pretty badass, and this is pretty badass, and I'd love to have it just as a reference, so, if we go into the design process, I have it and I can feel it and I could show it to Zen and show it to the guys and say, hey, if we have an idea, this is a cool fabric we could do something with. So the way you do it is, um, or the way we watch Christina do it is you show up to one of these booths, you say hi, you meet the people and you say, hey, we're working on this or we're looking for something like this. Do you have a fabric that is a little bit more sturdy or something that's stretchy? and then they'll show you around and if you like something you can say cool can I get a cutting or can I get a swatch of that and then they'll cut off a piece of that and then if you're good um, you come prepared I'm not good I'm not prepared um, usually you would have your name card so you can give them their business contact straight away Christina told me multiple times bring a name card I do not have business cards so I didn't now seeing her run around with hers I realize how essential it is to come with a business card and to have these papers prepared because this is a paper where you uh, you staple the fabric to it At the top of the fabric it will give you all the information <laughs> <laughs> I just threw my pen away on the hanger it will give you all the information you need to note down about the fabric and then you have the article number, the composition, the finishing, the weight, the width Christina oh she's busy, she's talking to people so we're gonna write this down all right. I, now I would leave the booth with my fabric swatches that I can later reference when I'm in the design process. So if I design something and I decide, cool, I want to go for this fabric, I have all the information I need. So then I can just call up the company. I will take their business card when I leave the booth, introduce yourself, and you can just hit them up and say, hey, we met here at Textworld. I really love this fabric. I'd like to do a jacket, a shirt, some pants uh, with it. and order it with you and then that's done so that's kind of how it works here you just go in look at their stuff suss it out if you like something you can usually sometimes they can't give you a piece of it you can't cut something out but then they'll let you take a photo of it and that's what we've just been doing with a bunch of different booths yay and some of them have really good candy oh yeah yeah and uh even if they don't have any good fabrics they usually have some sick candy Christina had to run back to work, back at her booth. She took a lot of time taking us around. It was really cool seeing her do it. Now I feel a lot more confident just going in, telling people this is what we do, what do you guys do, looking around and then just looking at stuff that we like and picking and choosing and getting inspired and getting ideas. We're still in the creation process of the clothing right now. So this is really, really cool for our next collections. Usually we work a lot of references, of photos we see online, ideas we have, a fabric we find, a cool print we see, and then we try to find somebody who can make that. And that can be really challenging a lot of times. You have this idea, you have this print, this thing you want to make, and you're like, where do I find the perfect fabric? And the cool thing here is you can go around and you can see what everybody does. You can be like, I like that, I like that print. Oh, this guy's really good at doing these kind of washes. This guy's good at doing these kind of distressed looks. This guy does all the woven labels. You take photos, get their card, make the contact, meet them. And then I've got this massive collection, so I feel like if I now go home and feel like, oh, we want to do this. I know who to call, I know who to email, and at least I have somewhere to start. No idea if anything is going to come from this, but I feel like it's really good place to make those contacts if um, you don't know anybody so let's hope it works like that but it feels good <laughs> so 
fun trip. Ah, mirrors, mirrors, mirrors are great. Mirrors, mirror, mirrors. My mirror, mirrors. This is how my, this is how my brain feels after all day looking at different shit. <laughs>